One of the things that Windows 8 brings to the table is a new way of interacting with files while you're in the Windows 8 interface, rather than a traditional desktop. Now this is the uh, desktop in Windows 8, but it's similar to the ones in Windows 7. But you can see in here we can move stuff around over here. We can do a whole bunch of different things here within the desktop interface. We can do a lot of different things here. We can drag things around, do that. But we're going to look at this and concurrently while we look over here to the Windows 8 interface and see how they compare. So in Windows 8, I'm going to go to the photo application and it opens up a library because it, knows it wants you to look at, you want to look at photos. That's obviously why you clicked on it. So it goes to the picture library. My last location was Old Guy Geek, as you can see over here in the split screen view. And that's uh, the same location as, uh, not quite here. Let's get over there, click, uh, get these in position, and click on Old Guy Geek here. You see we have the same three pictures in both places. So he has uh, two different views, the old classic desktop, and we have the Windows 8 view. Now in the old way, in the one desktop, we simply drag stuff around and uh, do it that way. But as you can see, we can't drag it. We can't do that over in Windows 8. Uh, good, for, good or bad, it's simply a fact we can't do. Desktop view, we simply click on the files. We have several different options. We can sit there and drag them right over to some place down there. Uh, just click on them and hold them, and then as you can see, they have three moved that. Uh, if I hit the control key, instead of uh, the move, it says copy. Uh, you can do it that way. And we can also do it different places. We can drag it uh, up here in the bar, in the navigation bar, and do the same function right there in the navigation bar. We can use the functions up top to move or copy two functions here at the top of the screen. So we have all these choose location. You can just say, oh, I want to go here and choose location to move them to. Uh, same with copy. You can do the same exact thing all within the, the new. And by the way, some of these are new functions within Windows 8 that you're not going to see. These are the file manager in the desktop version has these. So I can drag them over here to the volume over here, find a place I want to go to, and uh, say, okay, uh, go to paintings, and I can drag them. I can grab them here and drag and drop them over here. You notice a little three, by the way, it says how many are being copied. So quite robust, uh, different ways to manage it within the desktop version. Well, not so much over here on the other on the right hand side. Uh, how do we do it over here? How do we control this stuff? Well, if we right click over here, we can see that we get some things that we can do down here. We can say uh, select all. Uh, by the way, you can right click on each one or you can uh, drag with your finger or whatever to select them. But the point of it is that once you select them, you have some more options down here. You have delete, copy, and paste. Well, there's no move. Well, a move is really just a combination of a cut and then a, and then a paste to a different place. And it does it. And we're going to demonstrate that now. So we're going to say cut. Now, to show you what happens uh, real time, I'm going to open up the desktop next to it because we haven't really done anything yet. It doesn't actually cut it. Uh, by the way, the other selections are still there. They're just hidden because we're in half screen mode. But if we say cut, Okay, that's the, and there's a paste. So if I say cut, nothing's happened on the right hand or left hand side. Now, but if I navigate somewhere else, let's say I want pictures library here, and I go down here to Old Guy Gee, I'm just giving pictures, and I right click and I say paste. Watch what happens to the left, le left pane. If I click on this to go ahead and paste it, it's going to move it over here. So we did that, and boom, you see how they moved over. So that's real time what happens while you're in the Windows 8 interface. So if we look over here back in the old guy geek over here, there's no files over here, just like it is on the left-hand side. And we go back to the paintings and how they're here. So just to demonstrate them again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on right click on each one of those. We're going to go say cut here. I'm going to move over here back to the old guy geek directory. Right click over here. Say paste and watch what happens in the left-hand lane. You know, they move back exactly where they were before. Now, some people are going to say, well, why do they do this? Why do they have that? Well, don't forget, Windows 8 was designed as a touchscreen interface for all the new tablets and things like that in order to compete in that marketplace. So they had to do both, but they still brought you great improvements in the desktop version as well. So uh, go ahead and play with it a little bit, and I think you'll warm up to it in the end. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Have over 150 Windows, Windows 8, and Windows Phone 8 videos, and any more every day.